Okay, in this video I'm going to explain how to find the missing term in a pair of equivalent ratios. So, for example, if we have a situation where we've got uh, two numbers here, and um, we've got part of an equivalent ratio here, but one of the numbers is missing, I'm going to show you how to work that out. Alright, so we've got six examples here. Uh, the numbers that are missing are in different places, so by the time you're done you should have a pretty good idea how to work that out and without any problem. All right, so let's look at the first one. This says uh, 5 to 6, uh, and the equivalent fraction is, uh, we don't know this one, but we do know that uh, the second term is 24. All right, so first of all, you have to work with what you know. So we've obviously been given the equivalent, num the equivalent amount for 6, which is 24, okay? So, just like making equivalent fractions, you have to work out, you have to, you have to figure out what did I multiply this 6 by to make 24. And again, you have to know your multiplication tables, because if you don't, this is going to be really difficult. Okay, um, you multiply by 4 to get 24, 4 6 is a 24. So, if you multiply this number by something, you have to multiply this number by exactly the same thing, by 4 again. Okay, so you have to take this 5, you multiply it by 4, okay, and so that question mark will become 5 times 4 is 20. Alright, so that means that 5 to 6 is the same thing as 20 24. Alright? Again, you've got to know your multiplication tables. Alright, again, we've got uh, 9 to 4 is uh, uh, the same as 81 to something. We're going to use what we know. We know the 9 and the 81. And I know that to get from 9 to 81, I have to multiply by 9. So that means I have to multiply this 4 by 9 as well, and 4 9s are 36. Okay, so that means that 9 to 4 is equal to 81 to 36. Okay, we've got 2 to something here is equal to 14 to 70. Well, again, as I've said several times already, take what you know. 2 times what makes 14? Well, 2 times 7 makes 14. That means I have to take this 70 here, and this time I have to divide, all right? Because I've got this number here on this side, but I need to know the number that I started with over here, which is going to be smaller. Like the 2 is over here, it's smaller than 14. So if I'm going this way, if I'm going this way, I multiply, but if I'm going this way, I divide, okay? So I'm taking 70, but I'm going to divide it by 7. Okay, so 70 divided by 7 is going to give me 10. Okay, so 2 to 10 is the same thing as 14 to 70. All right, so we come over here. I've got 1 to 8 is the same thing as 5 to something else. Taking what I know, I know this 1 and I know this 5. I multiplied 1 by 5. So that means I have to multiply this 8 by 5, which is going to give me 40. All right, so that means that my new equivalent ratio is going to be 1 to 8 is equal to 5 to 40. All right, let's have a look at this one. Uh, I've got something to 3 is the same thing as 24 to 6. All right, well, I take what I know. I'm looking at the second number in this ratio. I look at the second number here. So that means I have to look at the second number in this ratio, which is the 6. So what did I do to 3 to get 6? I multiplied by 2. That means that this number here, whatever it is, had to be multiplied by 2 to get 24. So I have to I take 24. I'm going back this direction. So as I said here, if I'm going that way, I have to divide. 
So 24 divided by 2 is going to be 12. So that means that my ratio here is 12 to 3. It's the same thing as 24 to 6. Okay? Just remember, you go this way, you multiply. You go this way, you divide. Okay? Here's another example here. Again, I'm looking at the second number in this ratio because it's the only one of the two I know. So I have to take this 7. And now, if this is the second number in this ratio, I have to look at the second number in this ratio, which is the 42. All right, what did I do to 7 to get 42? I multiplied it by 6. All right. So now I'm looking at the first number in this ratio so that I can work out what the first number in this ratio is. I know I've got 24, and I'm going to go back this direction, which means I've got to divide. And I have to divide by the same number as I multiplied here. So it's going to be divide by 6. So 24 divided by 6 is going to be 4. Okay, so it's 4. So 7 is the same thing as 24 to 42. And just while I've got a few seconds, I can explain to you how you can check. If you're not sure, all you've got to do is just say, right, what did I multiply 4 by to get 24? I multiplied it by 6. Okay? So now, this number should be the same number I multiplied this by in order to get 42. Alright, so 6 sevens are 42. Okay, so that's correct, so that must be correct. Okay, remember you're trying to make sure that the relationship between these two numbers is the same for these two numbers. Okay, you've got to maintain that relationship, that connection. Alright, so whatever you do to one number, you've got to do to the other number. Alright, I hope that makes sense to you. Good luck.